Since yesterday, I was suspecting that I have a slow leak in my tire because uh, the tire pressure, which the rear tire pressure, which I usually keep at 42, is down to about 35 psi, and it's losing about two pounds um, a day. And so I inspected it and uh, managed to find that uh, there seems to be a really small little uh, nail there, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this opportunity to use my stop and go tubeless uh, uh, puncture pilot tire repair tire plugger I'm going to plug this tire uh, just to practice using the plugger um, I'm going to be replacing this tire uh, fairly soon anyway because as you can see it's uh, it's pretty much worn down and uh, we're at the wear indicators um, right now in the center so I'm going to be replacing this but uh, for now I'm going to plug it so let me pull this uh, little nail out first good now that I've gotten my plug out I'll just push it down into the plugger tool like this using this tool here like that until it's inverted just inside uh, the threads and then set that aside and I've got to put that onto this tip and then push this into the hole like that all the way in right back this out and then screw this in like this holding it in place so that it's all the way in and then I don't know if you can see this now I've got to screw this all the way in to push the plug into the tire keeping that flat against the tire you can feel the resistance hope the plug is going in <clears throat> can't stop too early when you feel a little resistance that's because that plug has got to go through that tiny tube that tiny hole okay it's all all in there now so now I should just have to back this off like this until it's pretty much a good ways out and then pull this out and there we got a plug so now what they say is that you've got to hold this with the pliers and then pull it about two inches uh, around pliers but I'm gonna like that to seat the plug <sighs> that's it and then once you've got that seated right I'll pull it again just for good measure uh, once you've got it seated right then you cut it off with a little razor that they supply so you cut it off flush with the and it's very sharp that cut off really nice there so let's pump it up and see what happens there's the plug and it seems to be holding uh, air uh, never mind these bubbles down here uh, but that doesn't look like it's bubbling up at all what I'm gonna do is check it again in the morning and see if it's still at 41 and a half 42 it should still be there hopefully now one of the things that they said is when if you're plugging a tire that has got steel belts and when you're reaming it out if you feel a lot of you know metal to metal contact then you should uh, you know replace it right away uh, replace the, the tire uh, get rid or, or vulcanize it I guess from the inside um, I don't expect to be having this this uh, tire on for very much longer uh, but I just wanted to practice plugging a tire because you don't get this opportunity too often so um, I just wanted to to try out my uh, stop and go which uh, worked uh, great um, first time it didn't go all the way in and I believe that's because I didn't push the plunger all the way in uh, so the plug was still on the outside of the tire 
but the second attempt uh, it went in just fine and it seems to be fine right now so hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos like this